Redditors who've had their nude photos leaked without consent. What happened and what did you do about it? Ha. Huh. I can actually relate to this one. My GF just had this happen to her a couple weeks ago. One of her friends gave her the heads up that he'd seen her pics online. So she reverse image searched the photo she had. Two of the ones she took years ago ended up on some XGF site and we had no idea who it could be. Anyways. She just messaged the site and asked if they could be taken down. They emailed her back asking for a picture of her face with a piece of paper with the file names written as they appeared on the site. She did so and they went down. So no problemo in the end I guess. A friend of mine when she was like. 13 sent nudes to a guy she met over the internet. He kept asking her to do more and more things in photos and she started to get uncomfortable and said no. After she said no. He posted the nudes he did have over 300 times on her MySpace profile and wrote look. A whore. Dot. She called me crying saying she didn't know how to delete MySpace comments so her and I worked together deleting them on our own computers. It took a while. And she didn't see the comments until almost an hour after posting so it's pretty possible her other MySpace friends saw. We reported him but there wasn't really much else to do. We were also both young and didn't realize how big of a deal it was that he was leaking photos of a naked 13 year old. Edit. Just want to add to all the people bashing me my friend. This was over 10 years ago. Both of us are in our mid 20s now and aren't scummy pieces of trash. Just dumb kids who wanted attention from the wrong people. I mean for fuck's sake guys. I'm talking about MySpace here. Don't know why some of you are acting like this just happened yesterday. A now ex-boyfriend had some underwear pictures of me. I had drawn on my body and he wanted to see. So he got some pictures. A few weeks later he is on a trip with his sports team and asked me for real nudes. I wouldn't have to include my face. Just a boob snap or maybe full body. It was in the middle of the night. I made the picture. But suddenly had a very bad feeling about this. So he never received it. Next week. My best friend told me that he showed around nudes from me. She could tell what I drew on myself. So I believed her. Turned out he had some other nudes as well on his phone and claimed that it would be also me. He said he was drunk and doesn't remember. I forgave him. Some people from my class saw them. Now. Some years after that. I met someone from his team and he told me that the ex was definitely not drunk. He wanted to show off. He was also the one who told my best friend about this so that she could tell me. It was back in 2006. My freshman year of high school. On Yim, Yahoo Instant Messenger. I thought I was in a private chat with my boyfriend but I guess another person on my friends list was able to access. Recorded it and sent it around my school. Everybody made fun of me for having a bush. The school counselor talked to me and it was completely forgotten within two weeks. Frequently asked questions edit. What's it look like now? Alone. Don't you think your boyfriend at the time actually shared the video? No. At that time Yim did allow access to your webcam feed as long as someone was on your friends list if you didn't set it to private. Plus I know who did it. Are you Craig's mom? No. Not nude photos but similar. I used Periscope time ago to make fun of what people do there. But one day. IDKY. I just get HRNY and the idea of exposing myself was hot and tempting. So I just started to cast myself on Periscope to see how random people see me naked and how I fap. When I ended the cast. One girlfriend of mine texted me that this was too much but she enjoyed it. I didn't know WTF was talking about. But I entered panic. The thing is that Periscope is connected to my Twitter main account. And every one of my contacts received a message about me casting. I was luck and only a couple of them see me before I remove the video and was just laughs and fun. But dude. That was really dangerous. On a side note. The people who see it. Say I do a good job and have a lot to show so since that day I post anonymous photos and videos in some subreddits. I was 19 and had recently run into an old FCK buddy. We hooked up again and started hanging out. When I told him this was nothing more than SX he got pissed and took a video of us without my knowledge. 
A few weeks pass and while I'm at work a buddy of mine stops in and tells me there is a SX tape of me being shown around the railroad, our biggest employer in this town. I didn't bother to do anything about it. The damage had already been done. So who cares? Few years later I found out the tape ended up at my friend's house and he beat the shitty out of the guy and broke the tape. I was upset at the time. But it really wasn't a huge deal. Edit to add that it was an old FCK buddy. As in a guy from my past. Not an old guy. I was sexually active at 15 and this old FCK buddy and I slept together regularly at 17 and then we hooked up again at 19 when the video was made. While we were together. My, now ex, boyfriend posted pictures of me on a swingers website. Apparently he was swapping them with other men for pictures of their wives girlfriends too. When I found out I was very upset. Because I did not even know he had these pictures. My face was showing in them and I would never have consented to them being put online for anyone to see. What's worse is that many of the people he sent the pictures to were in the local area. So I could easily have been recognized. I made him take everything down. But I can't do anything about copies held by other people. His excuse was I didn't think you'd mind. We broke up shortly afterwards. I investigated taking legal action but apparently because they weren't posted with malicious intent. I had nothing on him. When I was 16 I was dating a 21 year old. He secretly taped us having sx and when we broke up he put it on a revenge porn site. I emailed the site with a copy of my id showing that I was a minor and told them they had child porn on the site. They deleted it but I'm sure it had been saved shared by the time they took it off of there. So this is actually a little different as a man. But about a year ago while in college I had a girl start talking to me on snapchat from out of state. She was cute so I took the opportunity and traded with her and I thought we just had a good time. Well someone I didn't know started messaging me weeks later and it turned out had the pictures I had sent to her. It turns out that a closeted guy from my hometown had recruited this girl to get nudes from me and several other guys. I talked to him and basically said I wasn't interested and he was persistent about hooking up with me but I didn't want anything to do with him and didn't care about his blackmail. So these pictures got spread through the gay community in my town even to a couple good friends but honestly it didn't bother me too much. I just moved on. Sent some nudes to a girl I had hooked up with at her request. Apparently she thought my sklong was something phenomenal. And although I'm a bit on the hung side it's nothing that special. She proceeded to send my pics to every one of her friends. I was fine with it. Hey. Free propaganda about me penis can't hurt. That was until I discovered my female co-workers and my boss had seen them too. I thought I was gonna get fired. Then my boss approached me one day and said saw your DCK pic. Congrats. It's awesome. Dot. We've been together for 3 years. The only downside is that I've seen my pictures posted here on reddit. Mostly on gay subreddits by people trying to pass themselves as me. TLDR. Hookup girl leaked my DCK pics. Boss saw them. Boss is now my girlfriend. Edit 1. Should I really post my DCK pics so you all can verify it adds up? I don't really care. I'm really astonished this many lads in here care about some random guys Johnson. Edit 2. Why is it always some random? Boring sh I post that blows up? Was a dumb teenager in the webcam era. Sent it to my girlfriend at the time and she shared it around when we broke up. Went around my school. Got a bit of shti for it but ultimately nothing bad. Might have actually got more interest from a tbh. So my ex was a douche but I was young and married him at 18. We were together less than 2 years before we split. In that time I obliged him with nudes. But thankfully left my face out of the photos. Fast forward some time later and I meet a guy. We are hitting it off really well and decide to move in together. We had the porn talk and found out what each other liked. One day I'm doing homework and he comes in and says. Hey. Is this you? And proceeds to show me a nude of myself online. I'm mortified. And fully expect this to result in an argument. What I did not expect is his complete understanding and faith that I actually did not post those and they were from a few years prior with my ex. 
he not only remained calm about the ordeal, but didn't bring it back up later. We have been married almost 2 years now. This all happened about 5 years ago. Even though he enjoys teasing me about things that make me uncomfortable. He won't bring this up and to my knowledge has not tried to find those photos again. All in all I'm pretty damn lucky with my experience. Well my face wasn't in it. So not a big deal. But it was weird seeing it out there. Oh god. More naked dudes. Wait a second. That's my bathroom. That's me. WTF. Double quote. Moral of the story. Girls will share your nudes to them once you dump them. My friend in college had a nude leaked by a hookup where his DCK looked enormous. He was a pretty unassuming. Average looking shy dude at the time. So at first he was horrified. I think the chick that did the leak was the first girl he ever had sex with. He ended up getting laid so much that year. When I was in college I had my book bag with all my things including my laptop stolen out of my car one night. I was bummed but did not think much of it and change my passwords. All except my Twitter for some reason I didn't think of it. The individual who stole my laptop logged into my Twitter and posted pictures of my ex and I all over my Twitter. I had totally forgotten about these pictures. I later found out he was messaging another random girl pretending to be me and sending my nudes to her. Now all my friends have pictures of me naked doing someone. I don't know if this counts because it was unintentional. So my longtime girlfriend and a group of our close friends about 15 of us all went on a booze cruise for spring break. We had a group chat to talk about plans and stuff beforehand. Who's bringing what and carpooling stuff like that? When we got on the boat it quickly turned into posting pictures and videos of everyone being drunk and stupid. After a week of drinking we get back to Miami. My girlfriend and I had booked our flight home for the next morning and got a hotel in Miami for the night. So we're obviously very hungover. Sunburned. And exhausted. I made myself a bath and was just kind of soaking in my sorrows. While my girlfriend was in the bathroom. She took a couple quick photos of me looking just defeated and sad soaking in the tub and then posted them in our group chat without realizing my DCK was in the picture. She was more embarrassed than me and was scrambling trying to delete it. Everyone had a good laugh and the refraction of the water made it look bigger than it is so there's that. Overall the trip was amazing 10 stroke 10 would do again. My current girlfriend had a boyfriend before me and when they broke up he sent her around a risque photo he had taken of her without her knowledge. When she and her parents confronted his parents about it. The only thing his mom said was well boys will be boys. A couple months into my girlfriend and I dating. He decided to bring up the nude photos again on Twitter and started texting me saying he was going to kick my ass. My girlfriend took it to the police and now she has a restraining order against him. Dude was a ref king psycho. Had this girl I was quite fond of in high school. We were best friends who eventually slept together. Which of course totally ruined years of friendship. Anyway. I was too clingy and she was a BTCH so it went south and stayed there. Whatever. I'm not bitter. Cunt. So. Nudes. When we were in the heat of our back and forth and arranged a trade. We got to pick what photos we wanted. Like an idiot. I went first. She wanted my DCK in a hot dog bun. Garnished. So. I get a bun. Grab the mustard and relish and snap my best bun length photo. I'm quite proud. And know for sure that this will get me those nudes that I had been so vigilantly hinting at for months. I send it to her. And wait. Not 15 minutes later I start getting texts from other people in our circle of friends. The general consensus from them was. Dude. Is that. Seriously? Double quote. It didn't really cause a huge disconnect with everybody cause I've always been the guy who's both not afraid of a dare and not afraid to share his body. Besides. My DCK looked great. Never did get those nudes. Though. Sometimes it still gets brought up. But no real hardcore consequences like the other people that have posted. TLDR I put my DCK in a bun. A girl I had a crush on was I guess messing with me or something during a sleepover. 
texted me flirtatiously and asked me for some DCK pics. I was 16 so I of course obliged. She ended up asking for like. Multiple pictures. And I guess her girlfriends were with her and looking at them. Once I got to school that Monday. A bunch of the girls in my grade had seen my dick. The girl who texted me asking for the pictures was with a group of her friends. I didn't really care that she had shown people pictures of my DCK at all. So she gets a little snarky. And says your DCK looks weird. So I responded it can't look that weird. You spend 3 hours begging for pictures of it. And that basically shut her up. All in all a great experience. This will get buried. But whatever. My son, 16 at the time, was dating this girl for a month or so when her ex posted a topless shot on an Instagram exposed page. She was 15 at the time. The whole thing spread like wildfire through their school. The girl is really sweet and I guess a little naive at times. She was completely devastated. Not just because of the picture but because she was certain my son was going to break up with her over it. To my kid's credit he stuck by her and helped shield her from the bullshit social fallout that took place. He took it all in stride and threw crap back on those who talked crap to him about it. As he tells it. Guys would come up to him for a while laughing about seeing his girl's tits. He'd just throw back at them that while they were jerking off to the pic. He would be enjoying the real thing. Eventually police got involved. The guy who posted the pics ended up getting little punishment other than being forced to transfer schools. My son and his GF were together another year and a half. And are still friends. Not me but my ex GF had passed out after a paint party butt necked in my bed covered in paint. I thought she looked cute so I took a few candid shots. When she awoke I showed her my photo shoot. She laughed and we went off to dinner with her parents. Don't get ahead of the story. So we're at past abilities and I'm showing her this funny picture of a cat doing something a cat does and her parents get curious so I show them. Her stepdad being across the table takes my phone to get a closer look and accidentally swipes right. He gives off this bolly audible oops. And looks away handing my phone back to me. Me and my gf know exactly what he saw. Then every conversation afterwards felt like a so how about them yankees? Double quote. Friend of mine got a sports hernia while water skiing at a boys weekend. The result was a bruise going from his thigh through his abdomen, including his penis. He took a pic and sent it to his wife who replied. OMG, hilarious. Do you mind if I forward to my sister? Double quote. The pic went viral and we renamed his fantasy football team the Black Cox. What happened? My mother took photos of me in the bathtub. What did you do about it? What could I do about it? I was a baby. I did make sure as few friends as possible saw them later in life. There was an incident at my school where this guy had his girlfriend's nudes in his phone. But he bad bluetooth on. So in front of like 30 people it connected to the projector and it showed them. I wasn't there to witness it. And I don't know how it showed the exact picture. But all I know is that they aren't together anymore. My best friend got scammed. A hot girl got him to jerk it over Skype. Recorded it and uploaded on some site. I believe it was TubeBait. His face was completely visible in the video. Then, S. He told my friend that unless he wants her to send the link to everybody he knows. He must find some male friend and the two must jerk off together on a video. With only penises visible. So. You probably guessed it. I jerked off with my best buddy to save him from embarrassment. I don't think he was thankful enough though. Drunk me routinely sends nudes that sober me doesn't consent to. Thankfully for me, and. Truth be told. Pretty much the rest of the world, the victim of these unsolicited phallus photos is usually my good friend who's too scarred to screenshot. And drunk me lacks the coordination to include any parts of me that anyone else would recognize. I. E. My face or butthole. I recently found out that a male athletic trainer would take pictures of me while I would change clothes after football practice in high school. Apparently the photos have circulated amongst the rest of the trainers. I don't mind my junk being shared electronically. But I do find it sorta of disturbing that I was being watched. 
Not me but my best friend. He came home and fell asleep drunk one night at his girlfriend's apartment. He also happened to be naked and in a papa's and chair. She jokingly snapped a pic and he didn't know it. Turns out she's a CNT and posted it on Facebook once they broke up. Spread eagle. Naked. Not very well endowed. On Facebook for all to see. He did the best thing one can do in that situation. He posted the photo on his own Facebook and totally owned it. His mom. Sister. Family. Everybody saw it. Funny thing is. He actually got hit up by a couple of girls due to the pic. One of my friends in high school gathered up nude pictures of easily 30 plus girls in our high school and posted them on a dropbox. Each girl had their own folder. He meant to keep it private to himself and some friends but it got leaked and when you're in a school of 3. 000. Things spread fast. He ended up on the news and getting 2 years probation because of it all. But he was the legend dickhead senior year for it. I told a friend that I found her webcam videos and an adult site. Turns out she was camhering and just had them taken down without much of a bother and she really didn't seem to care. Another time I found my ex-girlfriend's pics online. Ones that I hadn't seen but had been taken while we were dating. That was a fun conversation. Some asshole I hooked up with a few times snapped a topless pic of me on snapchat one night as a joke. Or so I thought. A month after we stopped talking. Someone I went to high school with found the photo of me on 4chan. It was then tweeted out by someone else. I spoke to the police and was told it's like a gift. You can give the gift to someone but can't choose that they do with it after and that was about it. I felt so helpless at the time. Oh my gosh this happened to me. My ex. Three years after we broke up. Posted my pics to my ex. Com. I was underage in some of them and called his mom. She was horrified and confused and said she would talk to him. Right when this happening I was applying for jobs. One guy ran a business. And decided to google me. Guess what he saw. He called me right away and told me he knew a guy who worked at Google who could reroute the way my name was searched so it wouldn't show up. It worked. The next day the site didn't show up when you searched my name. I thanked this dude countlessly. But he did get kinda inappropriate and tell me they were great pics and stuff. Anyways months later the pics were off the website. Thankfully no one important saw. When I was 15 or 16 went on one of those cam websites and got naked and used a doldo on myself for a bunch of strangers. Years later I get a call from an ex who I hadn't spoken to since high school. He said he found a video of me on some amateur porn site. He could tell I was underage and just wanted to let me know. He refused to tell me what website but he said he would email the site and tell them I'm underage and to take it down. Not sure if it's still up or not but I hope he's the only one I know who has ever seen it. Can we be frank? I truly think 90% of the female nudes on reddit are posted without the female ever knowing by ex-boyfriends. FCK buddies. Bad boyfriends. And randoms that have acquired pics. The girl never finds out because she doesn't go on reddit. I just can't believe there is an unlimited supply of girls excited to broadcast their private parts to a bunch of random dudes on the internet for truly shallow, meaningless attention. The risk of a pic getting to someone she knows is so high. Considering the overlapping popularity of porn and reddit. There was basic consent because I agreed to be in a video and got paid a little bit for it. Everything was legit but I didn't expect it to get popular enough to get millions of views and be on the front page of Pornhub one day. A few people I was messing around with found it and tried to get it public on Facebook and tagged me in the post. I thought it would get lost in the sea of amateur porn. So I untagged myself and blocked them and reported the post but since it was just a link and not the actual video it didn't get taken down. No backlash. Just a lot of worry that mutual friends may have seen it. And a lot of them probably have but it's not a super degrading video so I suspect that's why no one really cared. I had about 6 photos stolen off my computer by a friend in college. He posted them on our college forum website. It was extremely similar to reddit but this was before reddit was a thing. My college was a big one. I got bashed online by a lot of people I knew in real life. 
I had to dodge whispers and points when I walked across campus. Or when I started a new class. Honestly. I became severely depressed over it and lost a ton of friends over it. However. The friends I kept are the ones who are real. True friends and who I am still friends with 15 years later. It made me reflect on my life and my actions and set new off on a path of making better choices all around. Although it was one of the most embarrassing, stressful, and hurtful things I ever encountered I'm honestly a little glad it happened because I came out of it so much stronger. He threatened to make a private page of my nude photos public on Instagram. I called and called the cops to do something. They wouldn't. Until I brought up the previous domestic violence. Then they granted me a restraining order. I asked for a year. The judge read my situation and granted me two years. He was ordered to delete a page. And wasn't allowed to contact me. Even through a third party. He tried to stalk me. But eventually fixated on a 17 year old girl and left me alone. Friends and family saw my dick. And I continued living my life not giving a single fuck. I posted nude photos of myself everywhere. Nobody wanted them. I got a few measly down votes. Not nude photos and not me and not the internet but an interesting piece of history. I went to college in the early 90s. Google wouldn't be founded for another 5 years. What we think of as the internet didn't exist back then. My university had a prototype phone system. So every dorm room. Fraternity. Sorority. And office had a super phone with voicemail. This was the first time I had ever seen voicemail. All tape based answering machines. Dot. These phones had tons of features including forwarding voicemail messages. Some girl left a long and very descriptive message for a friend about how she f a guy in the bathroom of a movie theater. It took days not hours but within a week practically everyone on campus had it forwarded to their voicemail. I remember thinking how crazy it was. This extremely personal message and everyone in the school had heard it. Now. You take a nude picture of yourself and people all over the world have seen it before you put your clothes back on. Am I one of the few guys who logically delete any nudes any girl has ever sent me right after viewing it? There are some fking angry guys out there huh? I delete all photos of my exs right after breaking up. Even normal photos. So I sent some nudes and pics to GF. A while after she wanted to break up so I said okay. A few days another guy she had been talking to made his profile picture a picture of me. At first I was pissed but then I fapped to some of her nudes and counted it as a win for me. When I was in high school I sent my then girlfriend a picture of a Hulk Hogan action figure I found in my old stuff holding my DCK up like it was fking mammoth. We broke up like 2 months later. She showed her friends. Who probably showed their friends. Pretty sure almost everybody in the high school band has seen the Hulkster struggling to hold my Johnson up. My mom gleefully shares a photo of me where I excitedly. And nakedly. Proclaimed I had gotten my first hair every chance she gets. There is no hope of damaged control. I just have to become a monk. In space. My DCK pic I sent to an ex years ago when we were dating is currently being used as a picture for Craigslist bots looking for gay sex. Before that. It was posted on Facebook by said ex for 12 hours before it was removed. They'll change a news algorithm at the drop of a dime but FCK your privacy. I didn't do anything about it because it's honestly a great picture of my penis. I actually had a couple female friends text me and compliment me after the FB debacle. I ain't ashamed of my body. In fact I'm pretty proud of it. I could care less that some Craigslist bot is using it to scam lowlifes looking for gay sex. TLDR. XGF from a friend of mine fucks around with a lot of dudes. One of them gets some pics. Posts pics on 4chan. Btard tells me about pics. My friend breaks up with her. Police calls me and asks what I know. 4chan goes crazy and calls her new bf and finds out with whom she is fking. Three months later they catch the one of her fuck buddies that uploaded the pics. Press charges regarding stalking on him. Pics are still in the internet. Somewhere. 
An ex-boyfriend who I sent nudes didn't post them to any site. But he threatened me, and is still threatening, to send them to everyone I know. I sort of just gave up caring. If he sends them. I guess everyone will just have to see me naked. I'm tired of the constant stress and anxiety and have too much else going on in my life. I then began releasing my own nudes so that it wasn't embarrassing. Posting them places like Tumblr and Instagram. So when people were like dang I saw your nudes online. I was just like yeah. I put them everywhere. Ex-boyfriend of mine created a fake Facebook page of me. Then uploaded nude photos I had sent to him and added all of my friends and some family. He then proceeded to tell me that someone must have hacked his email and wanted to get revenge on me. I knew he did it. But since I was young and stupid. I let it slide. He finally admitted that he did it 3 years later. I'm still extremely embarrassed and I will never send even a cleavage shot to any of my sos anymore. Here a few months ago. Someone hacked my iCloud and stole nudes of me off of it. I get this random text saying they had pictures of me and they wanted $500 or they will send my pictures to my contact list. I just laughed and said go ahead I don't have $550. So about 40 people randomly got a DCK pics of me. Most were nice enough to delete it. None of the pictures had my face in it and I'm not ashamed of what I have. So it was whatever. I suspect it was someone I know. So I made a few calls to the police and they talked to the people I suspected and the harassing stopped. It came down to either it was my ex-wife or my brother who is just a shitty person. I suspect it was him.